a concept artist takes the um, descriptions from the director and just the story and we create all design all the assets whether it's a character environment a prop um, whatever anything visual in the game we you know we draw it up we paint it up and design what it looks like We've got this piece here, it's Kratos uh, versus a Minotaur. This is going to be for another Game Informer. One of the nice parts about working on this image was that I got to kind of redesign the Minotaur a little bit, you know, just and had, had fun with them right here. You can kind of see some of the changes going on here. One of the things that we ran into, because initially I had his head cocked a little bit further over here to his left side, but you don't see his face as well. So um, this was one of the changes that Corey asked me to do was uh, try to, you know, cock his head back over a little bit more so we can see his face. The palace is one of the big location. It has sort of rounder setting and as you progressive to get to the center, you get sent to the bottom and then there's dramatic magic release and then you get to send to the top. I was really excited about the whole concept behind it. One thing that I was able to sell to Corey was having this two monumental statue in the front. So kind of accentuate, you know, actually step into this place, the worshiping like temple. The write-up they gave me was that he would create a void and uh, you're supposed to, he's supposed to take his weapon, which in this case was a boomerang, and throw it into the void, and the void would appear near Kratos and, and strike him. His left arm was supposed to create the void, so I started to take half his body, or one arm would be kind of black, or, or half his body would be draped in, in cloth. As I went along, I started thinking about, how about if he threw up this void? So he would just kind of come at you and puke on the floor and create this void. Corey, he wanted it to become more like black smoke. So I started playing around with, with those themes. This was kind of what he bought off on. I was getting really close. I just had to make some minor changes on it. I really like him the way he's looking. And just at this point, they killed it. <laughs> Yeah, it's still one of my favorite pieces. It was, it was a, a nice, for me, a nice exercise in, in development. What I was told was that this is where the boss fight is going to happen between the Sister 1 and Sister 2 and yourself. And the limitations were on this one that it's opulent just to bling it out and it's just really grand. With a, you know, a couple back and forths, I, I came up with the, the final image. It's a lot of detail <laughs> because basically they need, they need this in order to build. Right in these areas, there's like these blue rectangle things. And I was thinking maybe it's just like a top of a pillar, so it could be you know, me metallic or something. But um, Ken Feldman, he interpreted it as blue velvet pillows. <laughs> so he actually modeled like blue velvet pillows in that environment, you know, which is totally fine. You know, it could be seen as a place of worship, so maybe people were to sit on them and stuff like that. But so yeah, seeing their take on your idea, I mean, ultimately it's their idea, but you know, our, our concepts and seeing it in a 3D form coming alive, that's where like the reward comes from. All I was really given about the character Oceanus was that he resides in a lake and then comes up out of the lake and starts to wreak havoc on the gods around him. This is what I came up with. Just a lot of variations of uh, the Titan body. The reaction to these was um, less than stellar. They, <laughs> they thought, uh, you know, well, he looks like the other guys, you know, and uh, what are you doing? With the help of my VizDev team, we were able to kind of push it outside of the box and really make some strange, bizarre things. And my team pushed me and told me, let's, let's make this really weird and uh, not worry about how it works. What, you know, just make it cool. This had a much more favorable reaction, but not there yet. And then he keeps evolving keeps changing into more of a, a water creature. The elements that took me to the next step at this point was to abandon his legs. This is where we finally ended up, which was just this sort of whirlpool of water just 
shooting up into the sky with his fists and just you know exuding power. Unfortunately, after all this work, Oceanus was cut entirely from the game. I hate water now. I really do. I just never liked it, don't swim very well, and this kind of confirms it.